Okay, welcome to Mass Effect 2 on my Let's Plays. And I just came back from beating Mass Effect 1 for y'all guys, and now I'm really excited to see what Mass Effect 2 has in store for me. So this is a blind playthrough of Mass Effect 2 for me, and I don't know how big of an impact this game is, but all I know for sure is that I'm really excited to share this game for you guys, and play this game for you, and play this game. And all that stuff. I'll change that on. That needs to go on. Continue. Rank. Name. What's in here? Am I allowed to change my character's hair when I import my character? Or what's going on? Well, I'll find out. Now, this is going to be a quick video, too, because I need to go to bed soon. So, it might be like a 10 to 20 minute Shepard video you're going to see. Right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth? We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. Or is it though? The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero. A bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. Oh, so this takes place a month after Mass Effect 1, doesn't it? Yeah, one month after. Guess that's a cool future. Also, for this playthrough, I might try the best as I can to make sure that I focus on the side missions as well. Just so I can make this playthrough worthwhile and all that stuff. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Oh shit. Oh. Presley. Oh. Multiple hole breaches. Weapons offline. Somebody get that fire out. Oh shit, it's Ashley. Shepherd. There's Shepard. Stress beacon is ready for launch. We'll be alive here in time. The Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. The Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't abandon ship. I'm not leaving either. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Oh shit. Commander, Ashley, go. Now. Aye, aye. Oh. 
Where's the rest of my squad? Like, where's Rex and Tally? And even Lyra? I just gotta remember where we I, don't... From an I know where it is. Am I allowed to be there right now? Let me check a phone though real quick. That looks dope. Let's go with this one. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. Normandy's dead, just like us if we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah! Just kidding. <laughs> Does that mean Joker died? Oh shit! What a strong opening. What a strong way to start Mass Effect 2. But it's gonna be worth it though. Uh, no thanks. My playthrough was already good enough. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Oh, that's understandable. Back from the dead, boys. Missing action. Alright. Oh, nothing has changed. Hmm. OK. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to like start from scratch. So what I'm gonna do here is like turn off this video real quick and then come back when I have to compare like the character as much accurate to Mass Effect 1's character. So we're gonna do that right now. Bye. I finally finished uh, my Jane, but this time only the only difference I made so far was her hair. And and the reason how I was able to restore my Jane's uh, face design was I was looking back to my first playthrough on Mass Effect 1 and copy and paste all the facial bones from that game and copy it from here. And the only difference I made was some of the makeup and the hair. And that's pretty much the only the changes I made. So this is brand new, just new hair, made from scratch again. So we accept. What do I want to be today? Hmm. I'll be a soldier again. Flashback grenade. Josanna Shepard. Space hero, soldier, all that type of cool jazz. Back from the dead. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her a sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. Oh, it's shit. You guys are giving me a heart attack, man. No. When are you giving me a heart attack for? Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Wake up, Commander. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Oh, no. Oh my god, who the, what do these people want from me? The the every, people, every single person in this fucking game wants to kill my ass this week for some reason. And now I'm at level 2. What the hell? This looks new. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I can't do nothing here. This is pretty neat so far. But we can't mess around too much. Where's my gun? Focus, Shepard. Get the pistol and armor from the locker. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself. Oh, I have to press X this time instead of just going there. Ah, oh, shit, I don't have any weapons. All right, now I got my guns. Oh, there's gonna be like ammo now. Instead of having to recharge my gun like in the first game. So that's a new step in that I've never seen before. There you go. Oh shit, they exploded. But they didn't die though. Nice work, Shepard. Coast is clear. And got some ammo. Okay. More reinforcements heading your way. Grenade, Grenade watcher. Oh, that is sick. Yes, please. Did I get him? Take the elevator down one floor. 
I would assume that I did. Hurry, get to the door. Run. Go, go, go. Alright. Well, I can't. I can't read you. I don't know what you're saying. Sorry. Okay. Hold to switch weapons. Oh, okay, that's sick. I'm surprised that this girl Miranda is actually British. I always imagine her being American accented. Because I already seen like uh, posters of her back in the day and always thought, figured she had an American accent. But that's not really the case at all. And she's actually British or Australian, whatever. So that's pretty cool. Oh shit! Oh shit. Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. <gasps> oh shit. <laughs> Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. It's your station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. Yes, I'll sir. Clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. <laughs> Oh shit, shit, shit. That's cool, I guess. Ready to get the hell off this station? Yeah. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out Let's here. go. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. Let's go to that door, then. Grab some extra armor. Load my gun. Stairs, then let's go. Which room is it? This room or the physical reconstruction of subject is complete. Okay, still need to evaluate the mental excuse and me. Functions. Shepherd, down here. Where are you? Master oh, got me in the leg. We need to get off this station. I'm not going anywhere till someone fixes my leg. Should be some meta gel in the first aid station on the wall. 
Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the right. gel from the first aid station on the There you go. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs. But whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio room. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. Is Jacob supposed to be like my new squad member in this game? She was over in D. Taking over for Kane or something like that? Or he's just he's just some NPC or something, right? We'll find out. But I know Miranda is definitely gonna be part of the squad. I just know that part for sure. Explanations. She's either dead or she's a traitor. Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor, but that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. We can overload the canisters. Overload. Or if I can find it. That's it. Okay, that's perfect. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. Funded and controlled by Cerberus. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the I think I saw him in the Citadel once in my first playthrough. There's more to it. Could have sworn I did. Declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. <laughs> well, if I won't get any more answers here, let's get moving. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. Okay. Access. Oh, I got some renegades and paragons. Let's just focus on the mission first. And not do get carried away here. And by the looks of things, my money has been like carried over from my, from my first part from Mass Effect 1. I saw my health gems and like money and all my progress I made, like renegades and paragons, all be converted in this game. So that's pretty interesting. Especially when I bing binge play the trilogy. Okay. Oh, wrong button. Let's see what's inside here. Test subject has been recovered, but the damage is far from oh, money. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant. Right. I think I'm supposed to be in some sort of door I'm supposed to be in, right? That place right there? Ok, 
Okay. Come on, through here. We're almost at the Miranda. Oh, Miranda. Oh. Dead. What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. If you say so, what's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. <laughs> well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of a plan for you. Okay. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? <laughs> Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Okay, final question. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Right we go. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? What? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. I was in the coma for two years! So this game takes place two years after Mass Effect 1, okay. isn't it? Records show you were a spacer kid, raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? No way I was gonna let those slaver bastards send me running. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Hmm. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Yeah. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. Yes, he did. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. I hope so too. Man, it's too bad Kane died in my first playthrough. He seems like he had a lot of potential, and he was pretty nice to me. Right. Let me take a little picture for photo mode. Sophie. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. What I will do is, however, is a save. And then end this video here for now.
So to like what you saw, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.